Hi everyone and welcome to DeFi Daily, the channel where every day we talk about DeFi and the different opportunities that this world is offering us right now. Today we're going to talk about the different services, the different, I would say opportunities, but it's more to try to understand what can you do in the DeFi world. And as we will see, we are getting day by day closer to the kind of services that you can find in the, in the CFI world. But before to start, a quick disclaimer, always remember that everything we say in this channel is just for educational purpose and nothing has to be intended as a financial advice. Always do your own research before investing in anything. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to be always updated every time I post a new video. And if you want also to receive a notification, just press the ring button. And also please leave me a thumbs up to help me grow the channel and reach more people. Okay, let's jump into the topic. And I would start to, uh, I would like to start with this platform. It's the Orion protocol, but it's not really important what's the name of this platform. The reason why I chose to start with it is because as you can see, even the design is becoming day by day closer to what you can find in a CFI platform. The Binance uh, uh, exchange is not so much different, at least as a visual impact to what we are seeing right now. And that's true because uh, the services and uh, what you can do in the DeFi world is growing day by day. Right now you can even trade uh, derivatives about uh, options, uh, perpetuals, you can do even margin trading and so on. And the ecosystem will grow even more in the next couple of months and I can't imagine what will happen in the next couple of years. Going on, I would like to stop a moment on PancakeSwap. The reason why I chose PancakeSwap is because inside of it, it has uh, uh, some of the most important and most typical features that you can find inside the platform in the DeFi uh, world. The most basic is the swap feature and, uh, this, and, the, and this is the feature that you are seeing right now on the screen. It allows you to exchange a certain uh, token, let's say BNB, to another one, let's say ADA. As it's really easy, you have just to select the two tokens and select the amount, uh, sign uh, the transaction and that's it. But how is it possible that it, in a, a DeFi platform you are able to do it? And this is possible because someone previously had already added some liquidity to a pool. The pool is where the swap is happening. So you are interacting with this pool, taking out some ADA as we have seen here and putting inside some BNB. And, but to take out this ADA, you need that uh, previously someone already added them to that pool. And that's why it is really important to have someone adding liquidity to the different pools. As you can see, it's really easy. You have all, all you have to do is select the two tokens that you wanna add to that specific pool, uh, select the amount, the amount should be equal in value, in terms of value, in terms of dollars for, um, for BNB and ADA, uh, sign a transaction and that's it. To incentivize people to add liquidity because a platform without liquidity is completely useless because if there is no liquidity, there is no possibility to swap any kind of token. So to increase and to incentivize people to, to add liquidity, there are different kinds of mechanisms. The first mechanism is that any time that let's say that we are doing a, an exchange, BNB ADA, you have to pay a fee. This fee is around usually around 0.3%. And this fee goes directly to uh, repay the people that are putting inside the liquidity. So if in the CFI world, usually the fees that you pay are going to the platform, are going to the, to the company that is behind the service, the service that you are using, on the DeFi, the fees that you are you, uh, that are you paying are going directly to the people that uh, added the liquidity to the protocol, to the pool that uh, you are interacting to. Another mechanism to uh, incentivize people is uh, farming. 
What does it mean, farming? It means that once that you have added liquidity to a certain pool, you will receive in exchange an LP token. What is an LP token? An LP token is uh, the token that represents, that represents the liquidity that you added to that pool. And you can stake, it means that you can deposit this uh, uh, token in uh, some farms. For example, let's say that uh, you uh, added Cake BNB. Cake is the token of PancakeSwap, but it doesn't matter what kind of token you are depositing in. What, is, what really matters is that uh, uh, the LP tokens that uh, ra are representing the liquidity that you just added, you can stake them to earn some, uh, some rewards. For example, if you put here your uh, LP tokens, you will receive an interest of uh, around 38%. This interest is usually paid in uh, uh, tokens of the platform that you are using. In this case, they are rewarding you with uh, a cakes. Cakes is the token of pancake swap. In other cases, as we, ca we have seen some days ago on Dino Swap, for example, they are rewarding you with Dino, that is the token of Dino Swap. If you want to know more about uh, Dino Swap, you can also click in. Uh, uh, on the link in the right corner and you will have uh, the opportunity to see the complete tutorial about DinoSwap. So, summarizing, to incentivize you to add liquidity, they gi are giving you the fees that are collecting for each swap, but also they are giving the opportunity to stake, to deposit and earn interest on the LP token that represents uh, uh, the liquidity that you have just added. But not only, because uh, once you have already earned, for example, here your cake, you can deposit them in another tool that here is called Cyro Pools, but it can have many other different names uh, depending from platform by platform. But what is really important to understand is that what you just earned what you have just received as a reward, you can deposit it again and start earning some other interest, in, uh, interest on it. So as you can see, the mechanism is quite complex and has different layers that are allowing you to earn uh, interest in different ways. We have just seen how PancakeSwap works, but on the market there are many other platforms that work in a completely similar way. And for this reason, uh, to help you maximize the interest that you are uh, receiving as a rewards for adding liquidity, are appearing on the market many other platforms like Pancake Bunny. We have talked about Pancake Bunny a couple of days ago, and if you're curious, you can find also the tutorial in the link in the right corner. And uh, platforms like Pancake Bunny are yield aggregators. What does it mean? It means they are aggregating the uh, the different LP tokens that uh, you can uh, collect from different platforms, helping you to earn more uh, passive incomes from the liquidity that you just added on another platform. So, for example, here you can deposit uh, uh, from the token from uh, PancakeSwap to start earning, for example, Bunny, that is the token of this uh, uh, other platform, Pancake Bunny. So it's really a, a, composite, a composite system that allows you to build layer on another layer and so on, helping you to earn even more passive income on the income that you just earn. So it's quite complex, but it's, once you understand the mechanism, it's really rewarding as, as a system. Going on, we have other protocols. For example, this is a liquidity protocol that, as you can see right now, has inside more than 27 billion dollars. This is a typical uh, money market. It means that on this platform you can uh, come in and deposit your money to start earning interest as a lender, or you can uh, ask to borrow some uh, cryptos. And it's really easy. In uh, a couple of clicks, you can uh, come uh, out with some uh, money, bo uh, some borrowed money or some uh, interest that you have just supplied. But going on, there are other platforms like, for example, uh, Earn Finance. 
Earn Finance is also an aggregator that takes, uh, again, the liquidity pool tokens that you have just added in other platforms, helping you to maximize the returns on uh, your uh, LP tokens. Moreover, there is also other platforms that are aggregating all the different swap feature. It means it is a DEX aggregator. It, it gives you the opportunity to use the swap feature of different platforms just from a single point of access. I will not go through all the different platforms right now because there are so many of them. But if you are curious and you want to explore better uh, this ecosystem, I will leave you two different tools. One is DeFi Llama. DeFi Llama is a tool that gives you the opportunity to see what kind of uh, uh, services are on the different blockchains. Because uh, as you can uh, understand, uh, each platform is built on a specific blockchain. The blockchain is the infrastructure, is the software that uh, uh, allows you to uh, build some application on it. So all the protocols that we have seen right now as PancakeSwap, PancakeBunny, Earn Finance, uh, whatever, are all application uh, built on a specific blockchain. For example, here, if you click on Ethereum, you will see all the applications that are built on a, a Ethereum, for example, InstaDAP, Curve, Compound, MakerDAO, and so on. If, if you click on them, you can see uh, some metrics about each service and also the possibility to visit directly the website. Going back, it's interesting to notice that uh, the total value locked on the different application has uh, uh, reached already 160 billion dollars. And as you can see, it's growing like crazy. Not even uh, a year ago, we were about uh, just a couple of billions. Right now, we have gone 30, 40 times more. And that's a, a really fast grow. The bank is another tool that allows you to explore what kind of uh, uh, platform, what kind of apps uh, are built on the blockchain, on the different blockchain, because as you can see here, you can select what kind of blockchain do we want to explore, let's say Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Phantom, and so on. And here we can also select what kind of uh, uh, services, uh, uh, what kind of service do you want to explore. Let's say that you want to find some yield aggregator. You can just select the yield aggregator and you will find all the yield aggregators. So all the services that are aggregating different platforms to help you earn more uh, passive income. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Uh, as, uh, as you saw, uh, there are really different kind of feature in this ecosystem and uh, this ecosystem is growing like crazy and developing every day new features and new services and day by day is becoming closer to what uh, the C5 ecosystem is offering us right now. Obviously it will take some time because we are still talking about a really young ecosystem and a really young market but has the potentiality to really grow and make and produce some really great application. I hope that uh, this content helped and uh, please leave a thumbs up to help you spread the word and grow the channel. And if you want to stay always updated on every, co every kind of content that uh, I publish every day, just press subscribe. And if you also want to receive a notification, there is the ring bell button. If you have any question, if you want to ask me something, just use the section below for a, a comment. See you tomorrow, guys, and have a good day. Bye.